Today, Canada became the first country to withdraw from the 1997 Kyoto Protocol on Climate Change. The United States and China, the world's biggest polluters, never signed the agreement to control emissions. And now John Blackstone shows us that pollution from one is having a real impact on the other. Chinese officials insist the murky air over Beijing this month is just fog, but measurements taken at the U.S. Embassy there show dangerously high levels of air pollution. So bad, traffic has been disrupted and flights have been delayed or canceled. It's no longer just their problem, it's our problem. The Kim Prather studies atmospheric chemistry. We met her at a scientific conference in San Francisco where she was presenting research that shows what's in the air over China can affect the weather in America. The atmosphere has no walls, and so pollution on this side of the world can make it to the other side of the world in about five days. The Chinese pollution is carried by the jet stream across the Pacific. In the atmosphere over this country, it can stop the clouds from producing rain and snow. If you have more pollution, you have yes, less precipitation. In general, yes. If you put too much pollution in a cloud, you can actually not grow rain. The particles of air pollution from China collect moisture in the clouds, but the particles are so small and numerous, they don't get heavy enough to fall as rain or snow. So the water stays in the clouds. But while flying over California collecting atmospheric samples, Prather found something else from China that may make up for that lost rain. It's dust from huge storms in China's vast deserts. Because of their chemical makeup and larger size, those dust particles do collect enough moisture to make rain and snow. We found that wherever there was dust, there was ice, and then below us was snow. Understanding the factors that influence California's rain and snow is important because what falls in the mountains is the main water source for most of the state's 37 million people. We're working with the weather guys to try and see this climate weather link with pollution. So it's, it's a complex problem. By unraveling those complexities, Prather's research could improve the accuracy of weather forecasting by explaining why some clouds just blow over, while others produce snowstorms. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.